hello guys in this video i will show you how to use for loop with your visual basic windows form application so what is a for loop by uh, name itself we know that for loop is a kind of loop and specifically we use for loop if we know the number of iteration which we want to execute for example if you want to show a message 10 times without uh, writing a code repeatedly 10 times then you can use for loop and the number of iteration are fixed in the for loop that's the main property of for loop so let's get started i have taken a button in my sample project so just drag and drop a button and just change a text as for loop and i double click this button and first of all i will declare a integer variable for example so i'll write dim i as integer okay and then i will now write a for loop so i will write for i which we have declared just now is equal to the initial value from which we are uh, initializing our integer which is 0 2 and the maximum number of iteration you want to iterate for example 10 and then I hit enter and you will see here it's automatically has generated this next code for us so what it will do is let me just initialize this integer as zero also so we don't have any confusion in here so now for what this for loop will do is it will start with zero and it will execute the code which is inside this uh, for loop and then it sees this next and it will increase this integer by one and it will keep on looping this code and executing this code which we will write inside this for loop till 10 is reached right so let's see for example i want to show the message so i will write message box dot show and i will write a message for example i will write i value is equal to and then i will write this end sign and i will write this i okay and now when i run my program and when i click this for loop it will show first value of for loop which is 0 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so if you see when i just click it to the 12th time my message is not repeating because we are outside our for loop right so it goes from 0 to 10 which are 11 values if we have initialized this with 1 to 10 then it will go or it will execute this code 10 times right so in this way you can execute any code in a loop and this variable can be anything it can be x and x and x or any variable but just remember it's better to initialize this um, integer or whatever variable you want to loop because if you don't initialize your loop then it will take a random values and it will behave uh, ambiguously 
so just remember that you don't forget to initialize this for loop so i hope you have understood the basic concept behind for loop and you will be able to use it in your visual basic project i hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now